I'm in Greece. I know, it's insane. I haven't been out of the country in like two years. We decided to take this trip so that Leo could see his parents. We could finalize some wedding stuff. So I'm in Athens for the week, hitting up Milos Island later this weekend, which is where we're getting married. I decided today I'm gonna hit up some shops in the center that have a ton of Greek brands. So I wanted to bring you guys along for the ride. We'll do a little shopping haul and a try on after I get home. So let's do this. try this stuff on while I was in Athens. It was just too crazy. I just didn't have a chance to film all the amazing stuff that I bought. And I wanted to be able to style it up with like things that I have in a few different ways. So I wanna show you all the things that I bought. I actually didn't get that much. I got like a good chunk of accessories actually more so than like clothing. The shopping there is so good if you know where you're going. So I'll be sure to link to all the shops that I shared earlier in this video in the description box so you can always reference if and when you decide to go to Athens, which I highly recommend you do. Let's get into the goodies. I have been wearing this outfit on repeat since I bought the shirt like a week ago. It's just so comfortable and so cute and I love the color combo. These are like, you know, mustard or I should say marigold yellow shorts with this cute little lavender crop tee, which is from the brand We Are from the store DNA Stars. I had to bring out my mustard bag per usual. Aren't you guys tired of this bag? I wear the shit out of it. The cost per wear is like crazy efficient at the moment. It's only gonna get better from here. Then I have on my little Zara jelly sandals because I love how these shorts look with a platform shoe and these are just very Y2K slash 90s vibes, which I was told in Greece that this outfit was very 90s by like a random girl in the store. And I was like, yes, queen, that's the vibe I'm going for. These shorts, by the way, are vintage St. John. I bought them secondhand at a local shop in Chicago. Actually, these might've been a Poshmark find. I think they were Poshmark find. I take that back. These are from Poshmark. I'm pretty sure I got them for like under 30 bucks. I wanted to style it up a little bit differently, like maybe a little dressier. I'm not sure if this is dressier, but I feel like it is slightly. So I decided to pair it with a 
midi denim skirt for kind of a different effect. The other look was kind of more like soft clothes vibe, elevated sweatsuit situation. This is a vintage guess denim midi. I feel like denim midis are having a moment. I've had this one for a few years, so I'm very glad that they are kind of, you know, more on trend these days because I feel like I'm getting more wear out of it. And then I've got my platform sandals that I bought on Ukes years ago. You guys have seen these a shit ton too because I wear them all the time. These little heart earrings are from Madewell. They're great for like fun, playful, you know, like more youthful outfits, I guess, like when you're trying to dress like you did it when you were a kid, which is me every day. I just created this other look that I think might be my favorite one. This is why I love doing these videos because I honestly feel like because I'm not getting dressed every day, I've lost like some of my creative juices and I just kind of go with what's safe and what's easy. And this is definitely an outfit I normally would not put together for like every day. It's a little scandalous. Like I normally don't show this much midriff situation, but I'm feeling good in my bod right now. So we're gonna do this thing. These pants are Missoni. They're like these little brown Missoni trousers that I have had. I'm not kidding. Funny story about these is I bought them when I got like my first real job out of college. I think I got them at TJ Maxx or something. And they're so cute and I still have them. And I didn't realize at the time how low they were because that was a normal thing. And now I put them on, I'm like, these are low. They're wool, but they're very like lightweight wool. So I could totally wear them in the summer if it's like 70s out. And I put on these knee high brown booties that I got on Poshmark. These are vintage Tommy Hilfiger from the early 2000s, I want to say. I actually zipped them up over the pants because I've seen this look on a few runways recently and I kind of like that vibe. It almost feels like I'm going horseback riding without wearing like the horseback riding pants or the horseback riding boots. And I have my little brown thrifted bag at bag. This is Ralph Lauren. This might be my favorite outfit of the three that I put together with this sweatshirt. What do you guys think? The next top that I bought is so freaking cute. This shirt and the next one I'm about to show you are from this shop called DNA Stars. I will link to all the shops as well in the description of the video, which I think I already told you I would do. So I'm just rambling at this point. Let me show you the shirt. So let me try these on in the fitting room. Oh, this is so awesome. It's like a t-shirt, but like an elevated t-shirt. It's literally like a cotton tee with this incredible balloon sleeve. And I love the color of it. It's like this beautiful like cantaloupe, light salmon perhaps. I don't know what you would call this. I like it because I can kind of tie it. I can tuck it in. It's just like a great summer t-shirt that is a t-shirt but also looks a little bit dressier and a little bit more chic than like a standard t-shirt. This one is um, Imperial, another new brand that I discovered this trip. And both of these tops, as I mentioned, are from that shop, DNA Stars. The sleeves are just like fucking magical. One, I tied it up instead of tucking it in because I wanted to show a little bit of midriff with these really flowy, fun, very fresh prince pants, as Leo likes to call them. Which I kind of agree with him, but that's also why I love them. There actually is some of this cantaloupe color in the pants, and it's not normally a color I would pair with these pants. Normally I would go with like brown or black, like something safe or beige. So I thought this was like a fun color to add. These pants are also from Greece from like a previous trip a few years back. It's by this brand called Ale, A-L-E. did that. And then I decided to put on my strappy black sandals. So I went black with the accessories. These are Vagabond shoes. Also purchased in Greece like two summers ago. You can buy Vagabond shoes anywhere, like even Urban has them. Since I went with like black shoes, I added my Courage black handbag. This is vintage from Poshmark. I like that it had black in it and also brown to pull from the browns in the pants. It's cute, it's cute. Bottom line. So this one's a little bit more mom vibes than I normally go for, but I'm feeling it at the moment. So we're gonna do this. Here's the same shirt. I decided to tuck it in. I went with some Bermuda shorts and navy ones at that because I love how this color looks with navy. I think it's a nice contrast. These navy Bermudas I bought on Poshmark. They're vintage. I forget the name of the brand. Giorgio St. Angelo or something. They're wool, so wouldn't wear them on like the hottest of summer days, if you know what I mean. I went with this like kind of mom sling back, hidden heels. They're navy leather. I threw these a while ago. They're brand new. It's actually like a French brand, and I like picked them off the rack and I was like, these are. These are good. I haven't worn them all that much, and I think they're really cute. I'm feeling slingbacks right now. I feel like they're making a comeback, so. I'm excited to find new ways to wear these 
little thrifted kitten heels. This is a Marc Jacobs thrifted navy waist belt. It's beautiful and I feel like it really kind of tied together. I don't love tucking things in these days, so I feel like it's it brings the two pieces together really nicely. This is a little gift with purchase bag. I don't know, I liked the color combo. The fuchsia and the light pink and the navy. And then I did wear another Grace find, this cute colorful necklace. Layered it with like my other gold necklace and some gold hoop earrings by Ana Luisa. This is a really special piece though. I think I'm gonna have this forever. It's just like one of those basics that you can wear with so many things and it just looks really editorial, you know? Next item that I bought is actually an item I think I'm gonna wear for one of my wedding activities. We have like a series of events around the wedding because it's a destination wedding, so we're gonna have a brunch after the main party the next day. And I thought this next set, it's a set, the next set that I bought will be perfect for that. Okay, it's a two-piece set and it's this little, kind of like bustier top, although it doesn't have boning in it, but it's kind of like structured like one. Miraculously, I don't have to wear a bra with this one because it's that snug and tight. And it's just like really well made where the fit just works that you don't need a bra. And it has a matching midi skirt. Incredible. I got these 50% off from People People. Such a cute shop. It's like one of those that they have like one piece of everything. So you gotta like dig. Both of these pieces together were 105 euros and normally they are double that. It's by a brand called Milk White, which is a brand that I've shot before. Awesome Greek brand. Highly recommend checking out their stuff. I believe actually they do ship to the States. Some of these brands do, some don't. I think Milk White is one of the ones that does, so definitely worth checking out their stuff. The brunch look. I feel like I'm from another era, literally like a Hollywood movie from like 1950. I don't have a bra on. That never happens. It's the same in the back. It's got just like a little peep of stomach showing. The skirt is just so beautiful. So like the big thing about this is one, the pattern is money. Two, the fit is incredible. And just like the quality of the fabric. It's just a beautiful set. I paired it with my Paloma Barcelo little slides. I've got like a cute little straw heel. So I went with this straw bag, which I actually think was a gift from some skincare brand. It's like a gift with purchase. I'm really liking the gift of purchase bags. Maybe that's a sign that I need to buy some more handbags and build up my collection. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just like crafty and making it work with what I have, which I tend to do a lot. This is the outfit I'm thinking for my wedding brunch tuition and the skirt has pockets. Sorry, I just discovered that. That's awesome. So this is an example of how I would style the pieces separately. So we have the top, which I could wear with any kind of color pan that's in the print or jeans, or some, you know, very flowy, summery, kind of dressier pants. I could do a sandal, like a flat slide with these. I decided to go with another platform sandal. It's like a straw sandal. These are Cleasure from Poshmark. They're like my favorite summer sandals at the moment. I got these last summer for, I wanna say like $40, they were brand new. Cleasure has amazing shit, by the way, if you don't shop that brand. These pants are Finders Keepers label. I got them discounted ages ago in San Francisco when I was shopping at like one of those outlet stores. I think it was like a sample sale or something. I like that they're a little sheer, it's like kind of sexy. This is like a great kind of like vacation going out look. Kept my straw bag. There are just like so many ways to wear this outfit. And this is just like, you know, one of the many ways. So that's really it for the clothes. And then the rest of the stuff I bought is accessories and shoes. I did get a pair of shoes. When I first would go to Greece, I would always get like the Greek sandals from Laka, which is kind of like their tour neighborhood but also the most beautiful because it's like right under the Acropolis but they have all these Greek sandal shops duh like what you would think they're leather sandals for like 35 euro which is a pretty damn good deal and they are leather sole like leather all around made in Greece so I haven't bought a pair of Greek sandals in I want to say like four or five years I have like two other pairs that I actually don't wear as much because it kind of run out of style but now I feel like they're kind of coming back in I decided to buy a pair and these are a little bit different than the ones I have and ones that I've seen at least as of late they're kind of like these hippie type, it's like hippie vibes, right? Like that's kind of what I get out of this. And I like the color, I felt like the light beige leather was cute. They're really comfortable. So I don't know, I wore these when I was in Greece. 
If you saw my Instagram, you probably saw me rocking them. It's all about how you go about styling them. We'll experiment with that today. These were from, what is the name of the shop? I think it was like Chris something. We'll link to it in the description of the video. The owner was so nice. They had like really great options at the store. And I actually hadn't seen this specific type of sandal at any of the other stores. Cause let me tell you, there are a million, if you like walk in that area, like every other store, maybe not every other store, but like a lot of the stores are sandal stores. And I found this one to be a little bit more special. We have my hippie sandals that I got from the little store in Vlaka. These pants are actually also from Greece from another trip. I'm telling you so much of my shit is from Greece. I always buy stuff when I go there because it's like unique and different and good quality. These are also from that same brand as the other pants I wore earlier in this video, like flowy fresh prince pants, but just like a funky shape linen pant. And I decided to go full monochrome with a pop of color uh, with this bag. Blazer is like this light silk blazer that's perfect for summer. It's vintage Calvin Klein, bought it at like a vintage shop in Chicago a couple summers back. And then I have on this brick colored bag, it's like a pop of color. This is by a sustainable LA brand called Marlo Handmade. I'll link to it in the description. It's just like, they have the cutest, most simple stuff. You can make it a crossbody bag, you can make it like a longer shoulder bag, a shorter, shoulder bag, so these straps are adjustable, it's it's great. This is uh, kind of how I would go about wearing my little hippie sandals. And the other thing I like about this outfit is that it's high-low, so you've got kind of like a dressier blazer with a super casual pant and a very kind of beachy, casual sandal. Kind of cute. Another store that I frequent every time I go to Greece is called Athens Protasis, Protasis as they would say in Greek. They have like really affordable jewelry that's like kind of Greek inspired and like all made from like natural things. Great place for gifting. I popped by there to buy some gifts and also to buy some things for myself as I usually do. This is a new thing that I haven't seen there. They had these little glass rings that are actually made in Italy. Love the colors. They came in a million different colors. I stuck with the white and this like cool, I think it's, I want to say it's cerulean blue. They were 10 euros each. And then I also bought these stackable bracelets from the same store. They are these like cute leather wrap bracelets that you can stack. So I bought these separately and they have, you know, these little heart stones there that are Swarovski pastel colors. These were six euro a piece. Those are all my Greece finds from this last trip and Previous trips, coincidentally, I did not plan for it. It was so fun to bring you along my little shopping spree in Athens. I do that every summer. Like I said, I'll link to all the shops and brands in the description of the video. I'd love to hear which of my finds was your favorite. Please drop me any comments, questions that you have, and I'll chat with you in my next video. Love you guys, bye.